So today we're talking about the jungle nymph. This is a female full-grown jungle nymph and they come from the Malay archipelago. So you can see that her palps are open, which means that she is trying to find water and she will actually drink water straight from my hand. So jungle nymphs are one of the largest stick insects in the world and they lay the largest egg in the insect world. So you can see right here, that bump in her abdomen is where she makes her egg. So what she'll do is push this down like that into moss and then she pushes the egg out because that is the perfect environment for the egg to hatch in. And then if she feels threatened, she will curl her tail up to pretend to be a scorpion. As well, she'll move her wings, which make a rustling noise, which can be intimidating to other insects and predators. And underneath, they're actually bright pink because bright colors in the animal world is a warning system. So she is warning them that she's dangerous, but it's more of a trick because she's not poisonous, which a lot of bright colors mean. And the worst thing she can do is just really show these spikes off on her back leg and maybe grip you with them. So it doesn't really hurt. It's more like touching a rose thorn. She's covered in all of these spikes here that you see because she lives on a thorny tree and she's trying to blend in. So the female lives in the top of the tree, so she looks more like a leaf. So this is the male jungle nymph. As you can see, they look quite different. This one is brown. He lives lower down in the tree and he tries to look like sticks. And he's quite a bit smaller. So he actually has wings capable of flight. So they're a nice bright pink color with brown webbing. And that's part of their uh, color defense as well. They hope that predators will leave them alone and think they're poisonous. So if you look right here at the beginning of his wings, it looks like there's two eyes and a larger face. And that's also to try to deflect predators and make them think he's a lot larger than he really is. So he's also covered in a bunch of little spikes. His are less intimidating than the females. And they're actually tipped in purple if you look up close to his head. So the males, although capable of flight, are really quite lazy and they will actually piggyback along on the female's back rather than walk or fly. So here you can see the size difference between the two. The male is really quite a bit smaller. So this is our first ever jungle nymph baby born here. And she was born about three days ago, so she's still quite new. We don't actually know if it's a male or female and she's actually the largest stick insect born here because their egg is the largest she came out quite large compared to all of our other babies when first touched this one will pretend to be dead rather than attack or anything and it takes her a little bit to get comfortable <laughs> so that was a little bit on the male and female jungle nymph so come on down to see them in person at Antomica.